you know, how do we actually create a good AI? How do we create a process where there's real professional ethics around this, professional pride in doing good and professional responsibility to prevent bad, where we really want to understand what we're doing in society and yeah. how, uh, and to, to really recognize that, that we can unintentionally put out very harmful things. Mm-hmm that have unintended consequences that's just a fact of the world i mean you don't have to be a racist to put forward software that could have profoundly racist consequences <laughs> mm-hmm. um, there's an example that happened that was important um where there was a, a machine learning used to kind of do recommendations within an app for what types of uh, businesses to, uh, would be it would be good and useful to a person and in certain parts of our country, like for example, in St. Louis, there's a very stark racial divide. There are certain neighborhoods that are black that are literally like a walk away across the street and it's, and it's like a white neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. The, the algorithms were learning the divides and only recommending uh, you know, people to go to places in, in, in the white neighborhood. N- not because of the it had determined that the black areas in the black neighborhood were inherently worse, but just that they were trafficked less. So it was just sending people to the places that were trafficked, trafficked more. And that ended up amplifying like, you know, divides, right? Yeah. And it has an impact on school systems because now there's less taxes going to these places. And so this app was actually creating like the exact segregation that, that Martin Luther King marched against. I know. <laughs> Not because it was racist. <laughs> Not because the um, not because the people who programmed it were racist, and I think that's a very important thing. These were not KKK Ku Klux Klaners going out there trying to injure black neighborhoods. That's not what was happening. It, it was just inattention. It was just inattention and a lack of understanding. And what do we? That's what it did. What do we do? Because the machine is learning. It's learning from our behavior. Do we change well, our behavior then? Well, no. So what you do then, like in that case, is you can look at that situation and say, oh, I created a software that's rewarding something that is actually not good for society. And it's probably even impacting my customers in a negative way. I mean, and frankly, you know, when you think about it, when it comes to recommending people a restaurant, you sometimes you want to go to the well traffic places, but you know, you sometimes want to discover the, the forgotten a hole in job. the wall. Mm-hmm. And you also sometimes want to want to, as a matter of ethics, even go into neighborhoods that have been neglected and serve them by getting a meal there. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. it's very easy when you kind of put those two things together that they can actually have served their patient. I mean, not their patients, I'm thinking as a physician, they could have served their customers better by bringing these things to the surface more, creating different ways for them to, uh, to be exposed to stuff in a way that wouldn't impact them if they wanted to continue going to that white neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. but would also kind of expose them to these realities to actually introduce those uh, often black owners to whole new markets and right. to really uh, to, to really kind of um, privilege them in a place where they had been um, unintentionally disprivileged.